Hi, and welcome back to Maths with Anna Lou. Today we're going to be looking at multiplying and dividing whole numbers and decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000. So for Edexcel Functional Skills Level 1, it asks us in our learning objectives to recognise multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. The keywords for today are place value, so we've looked at this in um, one of our other videos, which is the value based on the number's position. Digit is a number between 0 and 9, and integer is a whole number, positive or negative. The most common misconception is not understanding the concept of making things 10 times, 100 times, or 1,000 times bigger or smaller, which is what we're going to be looking at today. Now, when we're multiplying and dividing by multiples of 10, we have to be aware of our place value. Now, there is a video on place value of whole numbers, and there's also a video on place value of decimals, so make sure you check those out first. So, when we're multiplying, our digits are moving to the left, so our digits are getting bigger. So, and it depends how bigger, how much bigger they're getting depends on what we're multiplying by. So, multiplying by 10 digits get one bigger, by 100 it's two spaces, and by 1000 it's three spaces. And dividing is the opposite of that. The distance they move depends on the amount of zeros in the number. So, as you can see, 10 has one zero and it's moving one space. 100 has two zeros and it's moving two spaces and 1000 has three zeros and it's moving three spaces. Now, I've heard people before say just move the dot. Technically, the decimal point does not move. It's the place value of the number that's moving rather than our decimal point. But we will look at that because I still I still see people that use that as a technique. However, to understand the concept behind it, we are moving that we are changing the place value of the digit. We are not moving the decimal point. So let's have a look at some examples. So if I wanted to multiply 12.3 by 10. So my 12.3, I've got one ten, two units and three tenths. So if I'm multiplying by 10, don't forget, multiplying was moving all of my digits to the left and they were moving by the amount of zeros. So I'm multiplying, I'm moving everything one space to the left. So where that was a 10 before, that's now 100. Where I had two units, I've now got two tens. And where I had three tenths, I've now got three units. So as you can see, everything moves one space to the left. And it's moved one space because it's one zero. I have heard people before saying you just move the dot one space to the right. So my 12.3 becomes 123. As I said, that does also work, but technically what we are doing when we're multiplying is changing the value of the, the place value of the digits. We are not moving the decimal point. Decimal points do not move. So, but I have heard that concept used before as a way that it works. So let's have another look. If I was multiplying 12.3 by 1,000, so 12.3, again, I've got my 1 ten, 2 units, 3 tenths. So when I'm multiplying 12.3 by 1,000, I've got 1, 2, 3 zeros. So everything is moving 1, 2, 3 spaces. So my 10, instead of being a 10, is now a 10,000. My two, instead of being a unit, is now a thousand. And my three, instead of being a tenth, is now a hundred. So let's have a look at dividing. Now, dividing exactly the same, but the other way around. So if I was doing 12.3 divided by 10, whereas before, again, I'm moving things one space because I've got one zero, whereas when I was multiplying, my digits moved one space to the left. When I'm dividing, my digits move one space to the right. So my 10 now becomes a unit. 
my unit now becomes a tenth and my tenth now becomes a hundredth. So everything moves one space to the right. Again, I've heard people say move the decimal point when you're dividing, you're moving it to the left. So it becomes 1.23. That does work. However, that's not teaching us why it works. It's working because we're moving our place value. The decimal point does not move. So let's have a look at one more example. Divide 12.3 by 100. So because I've got two, des two numbers in my 100, everything is moving two spaces to the left. So my 10 becomes a tenth. My unit becomes a hundredth and my tenth becomes a thousand. So I've moved everything two spaces to the left. So when I'm multiplying, I'm moving everything one space to the right. When I'm multiplying by 10, two spaces to the right for 100, three spaces to the right for 1,000. When I'm dividing, everything's going one space to the left for a 10, two spaces to the left for 100, and three spaces to the right for 1,000. So my 43, because I'm times and by 10, I've got tens and units. Because I'm times and by 10, everything's moving one space to the right. So my tens become a 100. My units become a 10. And I've now got no units. When I'm dividing, it's the other way around. At the moment, I've got tens, units, and I don't have any tenths. But everything's moving one space to the left. So my 10 becomes a unit and my unit becomes a tenth. So I'd like you to pause the video, give this exercise a go, and then we'll have a look at the answers. Okay, hopefully you've had a go of those. So I'll pop the answers on for us. So mark these. If you're still unsure of the concept, keep practicing. Any questions, put them in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we are now happy with timesing and dividing by 10, 100 and 1,000.